Liverpool lost a much better on Tuesday night after defeat at the weekend. Some real backs to the wall stuff at times. That will hold us in good stead though, yeah? Uh, definitely. I, I still think we could have nicked it. We did have a few chances. Obviously myself had a chance. I think Dapo had a chance. Terry had a overhead kick with a bicycle. Um, no, it's coming. It's coming. we just got to keep believing and know that it's gonna, um, we're going to prevail. And once we start, once we break that barrier, I'm telling you now, we're going to be unstoppable. But yeah, a draw, we'll take a draw. It's at least better than not getting any points at all. So yeah, I'll take that. I mean, it's still way too early to be talking about things like six pointers, but this coming Saturday, both sides are going to be in need of the points. So how do we go about building upon this? Tell you one thing, we, when we play with no fear, we are our best. I think right now maybe we just dropped into a little, um, dropped into a little bit where maybe we are playing with a bit of fear. Maybe just because where we are, but we gotta remember we are young, so that is completely normal. But we just need to get into that mindset, change that mindset now, and just get back to how we was playing before, with no fear, just runners running wherever you're getting the ball. You're not getting off, the, um, getting the ball. You're just running for your uh, your teammates. You've um, been in great form, you really have, I mean, at the moment this season as well. Um, do you feel you're approaching perhaps the best form of your career so far? So you've got a long way to go, of course. I wouldn't say the best, but I still have games where maybe my teammates have said, oh, really, you don't worry about me, myself. I feel just because of standards, I know I could have given gave much better, you know. So every game, I do try to keep a consistent run or defend as much as possible. Defend is not my strength, but I still work on it week in, week out. I'm still working outside this training ground week in, week out. Every day, well, not every day, but I've got to take what I can, but be smart about it. But definitely, I would say I'm, I'm getting better every day. I'm getting better every day in every match. Good to hear. When you look back on Robbo's conversation with you about the switch from, as you were, of course, as a youngster, as a striker, to playing out the back, how do you feel about that now? To be fair, I still think about it. I still think about it every day, but you can see the benefits of it. Like the last two games, now what? Four positions, <laughs> four different positions yeah. in the last two games. Obviously, right back um, the other game before, and then started off left back, then went to right mid. Second half went to left mid. Are you happy with the versatile tag? I can only praise. I can I can give that to. I can praise yeah. Robert. I give that to him because. Well, that would have been three out of the four, yeah. you know what I mean? But no, that would have been two. I've only been left wing and right wing, but um, now I can play both sides, left and right. Obviously, I'm still developing as a player. Um, we went through clips just now as a team where also I could even um, get better as a winger. So uh, yeah. every day, just come in and make sure that you're ready to learn, ask questions in whichever position. Yeah. But I mean, of course, with your, with your energy, your strength as well, I mean, there's still people that go on about your, your size. I mean, does it matter in football, really, in that position? I'm telling you now, it doesn't matter. I've gotten to where I am. I've heard it a lot. I'll give you a little quick story. Don't want to really talk about it, but yeah. when, I, when I was on track at Chelsea, they rejected me because I was too small. They said, you got blind in pace, mate, but we don't think you're, you've got the height requirement. I held it elsewhere. Just had it numerous of times, but now you got to use that as an inspiration to prove them wrong. And I've gone to where I am, went to the school the other day to help out. Uh, one of the kids asked me, has anyone told you you're too small and this is that? I, was, I told them, listen mate, I'll tell you that, I'll tell you one thing, height is not a limit. There's no, there's no limit to your height. You, if you want to get there, you'll get there. It's between you and yourself. Brilliant. It's between you and yourself. If you really want it, you'll get it. Yeah. Absolutely. We've had you on, of course, in the past with Paul Callum by uh, that relationship between you. How important is that, um, particularly coming through the hard times? Obviously, he's got back through having to get through a double injury setback and then, of course, picking each other up again after last Saturday. No, um, I'll do my best to, uh, well, we do both do uh, our best to try and keep each of us sane, should I say, <laughs> both mentally and physically. Um, I could guarantee if we 
if we both wasn't starting on the weekend, we'd meet up and go do some extras. Even on the pitch, after training, we're both doing extras. Obviously, I'm playing off of both sides now, but I'm not right-footed, so Pico would get me in and just work on my first touch on my right foot, opening out, opening Good. out. Whereas me, I could help him now, I could do little clips, him winning his first headers, first balls and second balls, and then maybe bring it down. Well, no, we we'll both look out for each other, I'll say, as Nestor and Rudy did say the other day, or yep. saying that interview, our relationship on and off the pitch is, I say, it's unreal, like, but we've got a strong connection. Telepathic on the pitch, you reckon, yeah? Ah, oh, telepathic, that's the word I was looking for. Well, yeah, no, definitely. I want to ask you about um, your faith because it plays a big part in your life as well. Tell me about that. Well, obviously, I'm a Christian, so I'm a big uh, believer that where I am today is because of God. So every day, even coming on to training, coming onto the pitch for a match day, I don't know if you usually see me doing a little. Yes, yeah. It's just a common thing for me, and then obviously, I, I, I will go give praise on the Sunday uh, by going to church. Yeah. Obviously, already you guys know I play the drums. So yeah. It's another way of glorifying God to me, but definitely yeah, my whole family, everyone, big believers in God. So, yeah. so it gives you that strength out there on the pitch as well, yeah? No, definitely. Yeah. It, more like internal, so I say. Yeah. Internal, like more spiritually. Um, no, but definitely uh, as a strong believer, I believe that God's the one that has brought me to where I am today, giving me these consistent good runs that I am having right now, so all I can do is give them back to prison, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, we've got to talk about the drums. <laughs> Play drums in, in church. Let's get into this. Have you got a kit? How much do you play? Oh, to be fair, I really don't. I don't get the time to really practice. So when I do go to church on Sundays, mate, I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to leave. And um, obviously, I have I have an eight piece Mapex. Fantastic. Don't know if you guys know about your drums like that, but I have an eight piece Mapex. That's three tons going across. One at the bottom, hi hat, snare. Brilliant. I mean, I love symbols. I've got symbols everywhere, but um, nah. Uh, when I do go to church on Sundays, I don't want to leave the. <laughs> don't want to leave the service. But, yeah. Does it help take a little bit of the frustration out as well? A little oh, bit. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It just gives you that little bit of recovery as well. You're not really yeah. on your feet. Yeah. Even though you are using your feet, you're using more of your hands, and it is more of a, like a multi-task. You've got to like keep the beat whilst you're well the rhythm yeah to it and everything's well yeah rhythm plus keep an eye on um, the lead singer yeah you know if you're the MD the music director as well like what songs or what punches are coming next yeah. you've got to be able to co communicate also oh talking of that I'll say communication look stuff that is in football can be uh, brought on to teamwork as it. a group as a group so yeah. communication I've got to communicate to my bassist, my piano, listen, I want to play this little punch here, but you got to get across, and if there's no <laughs> communication, then not, everything's not aligned. How many hours of practice goes into that? Uh, so, okay, Sunday, I'll start service at 10.30, we'll be done around 12, 12.30, then I like to stay around maybe about an hour, hour to it could be max up to another three hours and I'm just there, uh, just going oh. hard, going hard and then yeah. you know, the next day I'm straight back in, different sport, <laughs> Yeah. different thing, straight back into football. But it is, I guess Sunday it gives you that thing to at least just rest your mind from football Yeah. and just relate back to obviously again God and your drum inside and then switching it back straight Relate. back to Monday. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about genres of music? Do you, is there any specific genres of music or is it? Um, mainly play gospel, so like contemporary. I am a big, like... I've seen you wearing a Nirvana t-shirt, you know. <laughs> I've seen That's it. it. Uh, but Afrobeats. Good. I'm yeah. in there. I'm in there. Um, Afro praise. Don't know. If you know. But yeah, Afro praise. I'm. I'm still working on different genres, but yeah. You're like, open to opening it up a little bit more. You no, no, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I've started looking at like jazz. Brilliant. Jazz. Yeah. I can play a bit of R and B. Good. But it all comes to the simple things like knowing your rudiments. If you don't know your little rudiments, like your how your hands are meant to land, how you hold the stick, like the simple things, you won't get those right. So you've got to always start from the basics. Because they can be very quiet, but then of course they can be very loud as exactly. well. Yeah? So you've got to know exactly, exactly that. You've got to know when to maybe come in hard to play just with your snare. Mm. But, uh, that's for another Fantastic. Yeah, really good stuff. Look, just to finish up on it, of course, I mean, how positive are you that, that Robbo staff will lead us out of this difficult spell that we're in? We'll be talking about better times soon. Listen, we've got to look away from... I know we can't say we can't, uh, we've got to look away from where we are, but we are where we are, but the conversations that we still have is, lads, when we get out, when we get out of this, it's not if. So you can see that everyone still believes that we're going to get out of this situation. And I back ourselves that we will because we know how good we are. It's just about breaking that extra layer now. And I'm telling you now, when we break that extra layer, we're going to be unstoppable. Mark my words.